room tour. Apparently my dad wants his own bed, so he's staying there. Mom and I are sharing this bed. So it'll be like old times when dad used to go work nights and I would crawl into bed with you because I was scared of all the little scary things in my room. The bathroom, I actually love this matte black toilet. I don't know why that's so cool to me. And then you have the sink, amazing walk-in shower. They gave us some Carmelo. I have never tried this, but I am definitely eating this. A little coffee station. Honestly, this room is so cute and it's just enough space for a couple of days here in Scotland. So we are unpacking as I speak. It's showing me. Oh, good. We have had a very, very long day of travels. I need to update you guys on our morning because that was a mess. But we're gonna find something to eat. Mom said she found a butter burger place. It's close by, so I think we're gonna walk there. Come back to the room and hang out because it's already like 7 p.m. So I'll see you guys at dinner. Butter burger and we got chicken fingers. <laughs> so this morning we have plenty of time. We go eat breakfast. The taxi comes and picks us up. We are like three hours early for our flight, which was perfect. This is my first time navigating traveling by myself because usually my husband Dakota does everything when we were traveling so I kind of was just along for the ride so we get to the airport we go to the check-in desk and the girl is like oh I have some really bad news you guys are at the wrong airport <sighs> and I literally almost died and got resurrected right there because excuse me wrong airport she's like oh don't worry it's like 15 minutes we had one hour to check all of our stuff in go through passport control and get to our flight. We go through passport security. And for some reason, my dad and my passport would not scan. Like they have digital scanners now where you can just lay it face down and it scans your passport. Neither of ours were working. So we had to go through the big line. I was just asking people like, hey, I'm so sorry. My flight is boarding. Can I go in front of you? So I skipped all the way to the front. Thankfully, people were so kind and just let me through. We're waiting in line and there was a guy behind us. We, sh Of course, my dad struck up conversation because he makes friends with everybody everywhere he goes. And the guy was saying that he actually followed me through the security line to skip to the front <laughs> because he's like, well, people thought I was with you. So I just followed right behind you and I was on the same flight. So it worked out and I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> We made it by the hairs on our skin. Is that what it's called? The hair, hair on the chin. We finally made it to Scotland. We are peaceful. That's all for my story. Okay, monsieur. French toast. Chocolate. Pan on chocolate. Did you get a French breakfast? Yeah. Okay, we're at breakfast and we're trying black pudding for the first time. This is what it looks like. My dad tried it. I have not tried black pudding before, but he said it tastes like a moldy wet basement. So I'm kind of scared. Mom and I are doing it at the same time. It tastes like liverwurst. It's not that bad. I had liverwurst growing up all the time. I could have tasted it. I don't want to swallow it. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Yeah. Not my cup of tea. Um, I wouldn't just eat that for fun, but I didn't throw up or die. It tastes like liverwurst. So that's good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so nostalgic. Oh my gosh. These are my favorite Easter snack. Okay, these are my absolute favorite candy. I don't even know what it is. It's like gooey sugar, but the blue raspberry one is my favorite. I love everything blue raspberry. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. These are so hard to find too. This chocolate is literally the best, zero bar. 
I think I'm gonna get one of these. Kool-Aid, I feel like this is like the definition of the United States of America is Kool-Aid. It's like so nostalgic for me to be in here because I haven't seen this candy in like over a year. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with Sour Patch Kids. So for my birthday one year, I got two one pound bags of Sour Patch Kids for my friends because that's how obsessed I was. Like, I am not kidding. I am a sugar addict and it's kind of a problem. I could literally eat these all day. Back when I had braces, I used to break my brackets off with eating Jolly Ranchers because for some reason I have to bite them. I think I'm gonna get a bag of these too because these are good like if you just want one something sweet. Oh my gosh, Gushers. Oh, that one's broken. Fruit by the foot. I used to love these. They have the ones with tattoos on them and you stick it on your tongue and the color transfers onto your tongue like a tattoo. We're on our way to the Edinburgh Castle. We stopped for breakfast and a few shopping bits here and there. I am so excited. Everything is so beautiful here in Edinburgh. I love just walking around and looking at all the buildings. And like promised, I am eating Nando's today and tomorrow. I will be eating that for the next two days because I have to get my filling before I go back home. Stopped off at the souvenir destination and now we're going in the Scotch Whiskey shop. So I'm excited to see what they have. I want one of these, they are so cute. So cute. 20,000 euros. Last time I came to Scotland, I was standing, staring at this church right here. And I heard the bagpipes playing in the background. I heard bagpipes playing and literally I just turned around, looked at this church and just immediately started tearing up because it's just so incredible. All of the architecture and just how beautiful everything is, you can't even like take it all in. It's absolutely insane. And even now just looking at this, like it's just so cool to look at. this so it's apparently orange ginger and something else pretty good Scotland exclusive we ate at Nando's and I loved every second of it tomorrow is our last full day and I definitely plan on eating it for lunch and dinner <laughs> so I can get my Nando's fill before we leave. Right now we are walking back to the room and we just saw this beautiful building so we're walking to it and peep the tea. They call it TK Max here. It's called TJ Max in the US. So we're gonna stop by there but our hotel is just right around the corner. Good morning, last full day in Scotland today. We just ate at this little cafe by the grass market called Quinn's. 
and it was okay. We are walking to the grass market. This is one of my favorite places. They have so many pretty shops over here and you get a beautiful view of the actual castle. So we're gonna walk here. We have a couple hours until our tour at the Edinburgh castle. So we're kind of just walking around and exploring. If you're looking to kill some time, the National Museum of Scotland is a great place to go. It's free entry and it takes a few hours to walk through and see everything. So we are at the museum right now, getting ready to walk through because our tour of the castle is not till 3 and it's only 11. I don't want to spend the whole vlog showing you a museum, so I'll show you a little bit and then we'll get back to town. White chocolate brownie, M&M &M cookie. This thing is thick. That's a, you could knock someone out with this cookie. <laughs> mm, it's big. Okay, another bite because I think the egg M&M is mine. <laughs> if Edinburgh was not so chilly in the winter, I would move here in a heartbeat. It is so gorgeous everywhere you look. Everyone is really kind. And I just love that there's always something to look at. The architecture is absolutely incredible. We just stopped for a quick snack at a little cookie shop and now just walking up our way to the castle slowly, stopping at all the little cute shops on the way. just ate Nando's for the last time with tears in my eyes but it was so good I was savoring every bite so that I could remember it forever my dad almost took the stick that goes on your table no uh <laughs> dude you really did that oh my gosh I'm dying So now I have a souvenir, my Nando stick, and I will treasure this, treasure this for the rest of my life. He asked the guy if he could have it as a souvenir, and the guy's like, put it in your pocket. Don't let this lady see him point it. Me and my mom were like, did you really just take that? And he's like, no, I didn't. Oh, that's so funny. Now we're going to traditional fish and chips for the wee lads. They have this thing called sticky, sticky pudding. That sounds weird. Sticky pudding. And I wanted to try it last time I was here, last year, but um, I never tried it. So this time I am going to try it. So we're on our way there now. We just finished up dinner. We ate, or we ate some dessert, a fried Mars bar, which just eat the candy bar without it being fried, I feel. It wasn't, the fried wasn't necessary. I didn't really like that one, but the sticky toffee pudding was really good. We also got a uh, apple crumble and that was really good too with ice cream. Okay, so the ice cream in Romania is like more smoothie like i think and when we were in italy it's like gelato so it's a different texture so whenever we travel it's so hard to find like 
American ice cream because the texture of it is so different. <laughs> so it's funny coming here. I feel like the ice cream tastes very similar to like what we're used to in the US. And I wish that I wasn't sensitive to sugar because I literally would be eating every single thing that I can find. It's pretty early still, it's like five or six, but we're heading back to the hotel because we have to leave at 6 a.m. in the morning to go back home. So we're gonna go back to the hotel, pack, and just hang out for the afternoon until we leave tomorrow. Future Sierra here. I am finishing up editing this Scotland vlog and the outro I recorded at the airport saying thank you so much for being here was all filmed in slow-mo. <laughs> so that clip was completely ruined. So this is me here saying thank you so much for experiencing Scotland with me, learning and growing with me, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!